Hello, everyone, and welcome to Practical Balance Today. My name is Jen Westlake, and I am the founder of Solular.com. And this is my co-host, Janice Whiting from Lifted Spirits. Hello. And we are so happy that you are here with us today. You know what? I'm really glad that we're doing the show today. I had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day, and she's been watching the show and she's commenting on how we are talking about um, living through this time of transformation and change. And, you know, she's like, you know, what you're telling us is easier said than done. You know, I can't make these, ch I can't make these changes until I feel confident, you know, and I shared with her um, and I'll share with our audience here that my life is completely different from today than where it was 20, even 30 years ago. Um, when I was younger, you know, I had a childhood disease. I had low self-esteem. I had no confidence at all. And I started, I took the risk to let go and ask spirit for help and to start partnering with spirit. But I didn't do that because I was confident. I asked spirit for help because I was afraid and I was desperate. And so everything that I have ever done in my life, um, I, I did it scared. I asked spirit to help me, but I did it scared. I didn't do it with confidence. I was not comfortable. But everything that I did from being uncomfortable, the more I did it, the more I practiced it, the more I asked spirit to partner with me, the more I actually exercised my faith and trust in spirit and in spirit's plans for me, I grew into being comfortable and I've made leaps and bounds and progressed to become the person I am today, which is totally different than who I was when I was younger. And I didn't like the person I was when I was younger, but now I love the person I am today. I love my quirkiness. I love my authenticity. And even today, under the challenges that we find ourselves today, I'm still taking steps, doing it scared. And so Janice, what does spirit have to say about people that don't want to move forward because they're they're scared and they don't have the confidence to move forward or they just don't believe or have the faith to move forward and choose the spiritual path? Well, I remember spirit telling me one time that if humans wait to feel confident before they do something, they'll never do anything. <laughs> so I do remember right. <laughs> the day they said that. And now also years ago, and this is, oh my gosh, 20, 30 years ago, probably. Uh, somebody wrote a book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And as soon as I saw the title, I was like, oh my God, that is like the most simplest and right on and best advice that a title could give people. And so, I, I was in a bookshop and opened up the book and looked at it, looked at a few pages and scanned some chapters. And I was so disappointed that this person took the most simplest comp concept and complicated it to the point that it wasn't, all, wasn't even appealing. He did it so left, left brain and intellectual. And I really thought the whole book was going to be as simple as the title. And so I do remember, that's when I had the conversation with Spirit and they, about confidence. And they said, um, if humans waited till they felt confident, they wouldn't do anything. And, and, I, and I thought back to when, even when I went to college, um, but then you could think of that as elementary, junior high, whatever. It's the first day when somebody goes, to the first day, whatever grade they're in. Uh, they're nervous and excited, but one of the things they probably don't feel is confident. 
And then on the first on the first day of your job, how does somebody feel? Uh, usually not confident. Um, often even the first day of marriage or the or after you um, have a baby. Um, if you sat in the bed with your baby thinking, oh my gosh, this is what one-year-old light is like, and this is what two-year-old is like, and three, four, and five, all the way up to 13, 14, 15, a woman would probably hand the baby back to the nurse and say, I think I'll pass. <laughs> but you, you can't, uh, nobody starts anything confident. If I remember, even Faith Hill said, uh, before she does a concert, she always is um, has stage fright, and um, because and yet she knows she can sing, uh, but she, I think she's not confident that she'll deliver like to match her expectation. I mean, I I'm sure that's something built into humans at the human vibration that they learn have to learn to. Um, overcome that um, you don't start anything confident. You jump in, you risk, you jump in, and then you build your confidence as you go. So um, you, me, um, everybody, I wasn't, I did some human jobs and I wasn't really confident on the first day that I did them. I remember being 17 and I thought, oh, I had a job, but I had a day off, and I thought, I'll, I think I'll work at an Asian restaurant. <laughs> so, and I walked in, and they say, yeah, sure, come back tomorrow. And I was definitely not cut out for that job. <laughs> I couldn't recognize the food, the names, the anything. And even though I was trying to be nice, but even at the end of the day, people were not, they were writing not nice comments on the back of the ticket. And, um, but I, and then at the end of the day, and the other wait, waitresses weren't nice to me. They, and um, it just was a horrible day. And, and yet I risked to do it. And then when I went home that night, I knew I wasn't going back, but I was glad that I pushed past the comfort zone and did something that I was curious about. And, mm -hmm. and I don't think he even had my address to pay me for that one day. And I didn't even care about it. Um, along with the comfortable, I think what you never, what you end up becoming confident is that you're confident that you will risk and try new things no matter how it turns out, but you'll never be confident when you start that you will be masterful in the beginning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I just feel that we are, you know, living in a time of uncertainty. And I think par people are just kind of paralyzed by fear. And, you know, and right now, spirit is forcing us to move forward. And they're forcing us to move forward the spiritual way, because even you have said on this show several times that the, going forward the human way is just not going to work. It's not. And that's what some of the world challenges are about now. It is very yin yang. I remember chatting with Spirit about it, and they said the downside is Earth is having challenges that humans cannot solve. succeed and solve um, doing it the human way. But the upside is they'll they'll be forced to try new things and master things the spiritual way. And truly, I'm going to say, nobody starts on a journey of mastering themselves spiritually confidently. Nobody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I grew up being able to see and talk to the other side. And um. And yet I still don't start everything confidently. I mean, I remember years ago when we drove stick shifts, I remember Spirit saying, the first time you get behind the wheel of a stick shift, um, are you nervous, anxious, and I don't know, afraid, but, and confident? No, 
No, nobody starts driving a stick shift confident. But pretty soon you become, you start to feel with it and flow with it. And pretty soon you could do that in your sleep. Not that you should, but you yeah. could yeah. do it in your well, sleep. I mean, have you ever that type of confidence as you grow into it? But really that first moment behind a stick shift when you probably killed it maybe once, twice, trying <laughs> to start it down with the clutch thing. Right. Uh, Nobody starts confident. You learn as you go. Right, right. Well, you know, I think that this is a is a good place to um, wrap up this episode. Just encouraging everybody to take that risk and do it scared. Whatever challenge or scary opportunity that you have, step up and do it scared partner with spirit to help bless you in that moment in your day with whatever it is that you're facing do it scared and you will grow into your confidence so and the confidence does come from risking knowing that you you will there's a peace and the completeness that happens when you know that you will risk past your comfort zone. And the other day when I was talking to a spirit, we were talking about recipes and they said some, some of the most fabulous recipes came from mistakes, but people risk anyway. Right, exactly, exactly. So Janice, that was wonderful. Thank you so very much, everyone. Thank you so very much for joining us today. And we ask spirit to bless you with the confidence that you need to move forward. And again, if you have any questions that you would like us to ask spirit and, and talk about, please email those at hello at soulair.com or leave them in the comments below this video. We thank you so much for joining us today. Janice, thank you so very much. Thank and you. we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Have a great day.